Cooper was in the East today talking public education and highlighting work-based learning opportunities in public schools. One community college in the East is making that possible through their Apprenticeship Academy. Ho Jung Ru heard from the governor and students in the academy and she's live now with more. Ho Jung. Dave and Courtney here in this machinery lab is where high school junior and senior students in the East were not only able to get just a hands on experience in the agriculture and manufacturing workforce, but also get paid through the summer academy named SEED. Well, Governor Cooper says that this is a monumental opportunity for our state's economy to thrive. Alan Rango just graduated high school and discovered his passion in computer numerical control, which lets him draw 2D designs for the computer to write the code and algorithms. And I actually sold signs from that CNC to teachers, and at the front of the school I was um, able to make three-foot letters, So, and on the back I have my name on them. Dreams to open up his shop for fabrication and carpentry one day have become clearer through the Southeastern Education and Economic Development Academy, also known as Seed Academy, at Wayne Community College. The academy provides classes for hydraulic and pneumatic, machine processing and drafting. Davin Gottschall is one of only four girls in the academy and says being a girl has been beneficial in a male-dominant environment. Instead of having girls you're working with and it's just like, a calm environment. It feels kind of competitive to like make sure your part is like really good. Governor Cooper says the Seed Academy is an investment in Eastern North Carolina's workforce. They get paid while they are going to school and they get the credentials to be able to get a great paying job. And these employers get to check them out. They get to check out the employer. Local business employers that join the conversation say the Seed Academy also provides them with a bigger and younger talent pool. Getting a young pipeline of dynamic talent that will enter into a workforce with a full understanding of the work that they'll be, you know, coming into. Well, this was Seed Academy's first class with about 45 students selected out of 200 applicants. The program also aims to partner up with more community colleges to open up more doors to more students. Reporting live from Goldsboro, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. Dave and Courtney. All right, thanks, Ho Jung. And Governor Cooper says apprenticeship programs as like that will also help employers retain their employees longer because they'll focus on hiring locally.